Hey everybody, my name is Ian Robert McCown. Uh, recently I had an episode where I wanted to print up some reference. And the reference was going to be used um, to do a series of paintings, possibly even a tattoo. And I went to the print center and I tried to send it through a certain copier and it was down, it wasn't working. So I went ahead and enlisted the help of some people behind the, the counter, you know, and the finished product was pretty pretty lackluster. And it got me to thinking about maybe how many tattooers aren't aware of how much the reference or source material they're using, specifically when doing, say, reproduction work, um, how important it is to have the best possible reference when doing that. Um, now, obviously, there's a lot of debate currently about whether or not tattooers should be, you know, using Google to image search or to use those images for tattoos. And I think it's kind of beyond the scope of what um, I kind of wanted to show you here. Um, suffice to say, I believe that if you're going to be using reference or specifically source material, so you're going to be trying to do a reproduction, I think the best possible reference you can have is going to be the best possible results in the end. So um, what I've done is I've taken uh, the same photo and I've run it through a couple different printers um, here at home as well as at a local print center like Kinko's and I just kind of wanted to show you hopefully uh, the difference between them and why you know spending a little bit more money on anything involved in your art or tattooing is probably always a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through that and uh, hopefully this helps you know maybe uh, some of you decide to print out better reference you know um, obviously in our shops we usually just have normal shop printers you know and they're almost always cruddy and it has to do a lot with the actual printer itself or the ink we're using or a number of things um, but you know tattooers won't hesitate to buy a really good machine it makes you wonder why they would hesitate to spend a couple extra dollars on, you know, good reference material. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through that, and um, I hope you find it useful. Thanks. All right, so um, here we are. Uh, this is uh, Dolores Umbridge from uh, Harry Potter, and uh, it's on Photoshop. It's a really nice image. It must have been, uh, I don't know, 1600 you know, pixels wide or some nonsense like that, but it was a really high high res image that I did snatch off of Google. And I went ahead and um, printed it several different ways. Um, the very first one being a black and white uh, printer off of one of the computers that you can use at Kinko's or Print Center. And even though this is sort of a Trojan, this, these are pretty pretty uh, standard workhorses, um, you're going to see that the, um, the quality of the image on those quick black and white printers are actually pretty cruddy. Um, so I'm going to try to steady cam this. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a good uh, cinematographer guy or camera guy here. But uh, so this is the first image and uh, I'm sure it looks pretty nice there. Uh, overall, the quality isn't bad. This is something you might get uh, if you went to a Kinko's and you printed it up really quickly. It looks pretty nice. Um, the second image, uh, and it's going to be hard to get comparisons here, but the second image is done from home. And uh, there's a lot more actual skin tone or skin uh, structure in there. There's a lot more uh, visual dynamic stuff going on, which is actually obviously better for, for tattooing. So just having um, an HP uh, inkjet here at home has really made out uh, to be a good decision for me. Got a lot better reference out of it. Um, this next one is what happens when you actually spend the coin to get a nice color photo. Now obviously this is a black and white image, but if you can run it through a color copier or a color printer, you're going to get, not only because of the paper, but you're going to get an actual sort of different look to it. Um, you might be able to side by side these two. These are both printed from the same image, the same place, um, but this one here on your right is really quite a bit richer. Uh, 
Um, it actually has sort of a, a hint to a tint to it, which is pretty amazing. Um, the shadows through here are a lot stronger than the shadows through here. You see those kind of washed out over here. Um, as well as you can see a lot more dynamic lighting in here, which is going to make for a more dynamic portrait over here. Not quite so much. Um, the last option, which uh, you pretty much have to do at home, is uh, printing up on actual photo paper. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to make a stencil off of this unless you're using tracing paper, but it's good to have it around. Um, this is going to give you the most dynamic lighting. It's going to give you the most uh, varied skin tones and textures. And it's gonna, I mean, this is just a really dynamic shadow. And obviously, it's going to give you the most clarity when you're talking about areas like the eyes and, and you know, details throughout the hair and all this stuff. So, you know, the gamut here is that you can go to Kinko's and, you know, spend 50 cents, which this one's pretty nice. It probably has to do mostly with uh, the quality of the picture to begin with. Or you can go all the way up to over here, which probably costs you, you know, a dollar or two. But just having better reference is going to enable you to have a better tattoo. Obviously, that's not a hard and fast rule, but especially for people who have trouble, you know, seeing values or seeing detail, um, if you come out with a cruddy copy, and I know this one looks amazing, trust me, in real life, it doesn't compare to the others. Uh, even though it looks amazing, you're not going to get the level of detail and the level of finished product out of it that you would with the other ones. So, I always recommend people, you know, buy your printer for your house, buy a nice one, invest, you know, a few hundred dollars and print your reference at home. Don't don't rely on those shop printers because they're probably not the best printers for the job. Uh, anyways, I, I guess that's it, you know. I think that uh, this is just like any other thing. Preparation makes for a better final product. And having a better beginning product, you know, is going to ensure that you have a better final product. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.